Hey everyone, how are you all doing today? If you're a Destiny player, you will know that on the 13th of December, The Dawning will be released. And I just wanted to talk about all the things I'm excited for that comes with this event after watching the trailer. So number one, the new tower. The very first thing we see in the trailer is the new tower event. It has a winter holiday atmosphere with snow, lights and presents. And I love it when familiar places are changed within games because it gives us a chance to re-explore the area and find out what's new. Next up, we've got Sparrow Racing. James, look at these boards. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sparrow Racing will return permanently this time, with two new tracks, one on Earth and the other one on Mercury. There will be new sparrows to collect and new infusible racing gear. Me and the Clueless Guardians had a ton of fun during the last SRL event, and we can't wait to make more videos upon its return. Oh! Aaron <laughs> Why am I going like five miles Get out of the way, Donna! <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>! <laughs> <laughs> <I can't guess. laughs> Number three, Thunderlord variants. There's going to be a Void and Solar Thunderlord variant which you'll be able to acquire through new exotic quests. And speaking of new weapons, there's going to be new ornaments. And I love the ornament system within Destiny, similar to having familiar places with changes, it's great to have familiar weapons with changes. So there's going to be two new ornaments for another one of my favourite exotics, The Last Word. There's ornaments for the Thorn, Red Death and many others. Okay, on to number four. The Dawning introduces a brand new strike scoring system similar to the Crucible. You score points for getting kills and you're awarded with medals. For me, this will definitely make strikes a lot more enjoyable because you'll be able to compete for points versus your friends. Number five, the icebreaker. And this is something I think I was most excited to see in the trailer. Back in year one, the icebreaker was one of the most powerful weapons in the game. It's easy to use, it looks like a beast, it sounds like a beast, it has high impact, hammer, hammer, ammo that regens. <laughs> Players basically explode when you eliminate them, so, you know, what's not to love? It's one of Destiny's most legendary weapons, even though it's an exotic, and it returns with two new ornaments, Nanohance and Dune Marcher. The Icebreaker is one of my favourite exotics, both in PvE and PvP, so I can't wait to acquire it via the Nightfall bounty when the dawning goes live. That's all we've got time for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, a like would be very much appreciated. And as always, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.